so what you what you are looking at is basically fubini's theorem right uh is this yeah is this... fubini's theorem is like doesn't matter which order we integrate right that's what fubini's yes. theorem right is yes it? yes right that is fubini's theorem but you will see like if you can interpret so if you fix one variable and you know interpret with the other integrate with respect okay. to the other and that is equal to the double integral then symmetrically right. symmetrically the other way also right so it, it okay, gives yeah. it, it gives fubini's theorem right that's the thing so that is right. the thing so so i'll just call it fubini's theorem that is uh, what okay. it is yeah but just a minute okay so let me just call it fubini's theorem. sure sir because once you understand it properly then it clarifies a lot of things later on you will also read a, a version of fubini's theorem in uh, in measure theory for lebesgue integral then it will be convenient lebesgue integrals i have heard yeah. about it not really yes. sure there is a, there is a version there also it's a it's a other definition for integration right the measure definition, definition yes the definition of integral is slight is slightly different and it's more general then uh, the definition of riemann integral and general in a precise way uh, but makes yeah, sense but you will you will see that right okay so first uh, first uh, um yeah so first let's do this i mean i was just looking at it in spivax book uh, so i'm just by kind of saying it in that way uh should sure, i put it should i put it in r or should i put so if i if i put it in rn then i will have to take boxes in rn right so let me just say it in r okay so a is a subset of r right and, and b is also a subset mm -hmm. of r. and okay let's say that there is this this yes give so it a cos p is the region Right, a, a cross b is the region, and subscription. And let me just uh, write like this only. So this this means uh, what you what you know. Okay, yeah. Right. So there is this thing, and we would basically like to reduce the calculation of this integral to single variable integrals. That is the okay. goal of this, right? So I was wondering, like, wouldn't it matter to? I don't know, like my. classical notion is like we always put something after the integral sign right so is it is it replaced after when we go up like because i cannot see because you don't you just put it more abstractly right yeah but there is Other no than... you can put it you can put it but there is no need i think in this need to okay put anything yeah makes sense it's understood yeah yeah or yeah you can put d of x comma y i mean the okay. definition matters if the definition is same then it's okay right right so we, what what we would like to do is we would like to say that this is equal to and also maybe uh, right from the start we should assume that this is bounded function okay f is a bounded right right yeah. so right. we would like to reduce it to maybe uh, something like this uh f of x y dy and then dx right so this is okay. what we want right mm -hmm. we would want this to be true and of course if this is true for uh, if this is true for some function then it's not necessary but then analogously this should also be true if the function is nice enough the other way okay right the, the other way dx also, dy right exactly so not right this is what we want to be true so right uh, obviously under some uh, nice conditions is true but let us just say in general when this is true okay so for that we will just okay. make a general statement and then it mm -hmm. will follow in in what situations it is true and then i will state the theorem in the end so in the beginning okay. maybe i will not uh, state the theorem right uh yes right so let's erase this okay and 
let me also erase this. This is understood to be integral over the rectangle. Right. Now, now let us introduce two two more definitions. Okay. So. Okay. Right. So this will be for every x. So this is the definition, and this definition is L of f of x, y, dy. Okay. So what does this mean? This 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 notation means that you fix the x, so it becomes a function of y. Right. Okay. So this is your mm -hmm. region. Well, yeah. So your region will not be like this because it's a cross b. So your region will be slightly a rectangle. It will not be a rectangle because a is not an interval. But yeah, it 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 can be like a union of rectangles. Nice. It will be nicer. Right, right. Maybe, yeah. But anyways, we can write and destroy it like this. What we are doing is, uh, yes, the regions actually matter. But yeah, anyways, that's why they are nice. So. For this x, you are looking at this func this portion, right? You're restricting the domain, okay? And this this is mm -hmm. that function f x. F x is a function of y because x is fixed. Okay. Okay. So that's this notation. Mm -hmm. And l. So what does l mean? L means the lower Riemann. You could say the the lower limit. Yeah, the left side. I mean, I don't lower lower limit, limit as. So lower limit is defined as just uh, how you define lower limit in Riemann integral. So if f is a function from a to r, right, then how do you define this lower limit? So this you define you as... the left side as in the... Uh, like you pick the left and end, end points as the... No, as no, the, no, uh, no. Arbitrary. No. no, I don't okay. mean that. I don't mean that. Okay. What I mean is that for... Uh, what I mean is... You, you just pick the minimum or infimum. Right. Okay. You pick the okay. infimum, you have to sum, and you pick the infimum of f, uh, whatever. So you pick the infimum of f of uh, x, where x is in the ith part, right? And then you take the volume of the ith part, and you you sum this, and then you take the limit of this. It's actually okay. not a limit, but you, you sort of take the supremum over all partitions. Okay. Right. So is this definition okay? Because you cannot really say it's a limit, right? Because yeah, because the partitions are not um, because you're ranging over partitions. Right. Mm. Yeah. So basically for every yes, partition, sir. I mean, I, one can define this properly, but for every partition, you calculate this quantity where in every mm -hmm. part, you pick the smallest value of the integral. Right, and you do this for every partition, and then you get okay. some values, and then you take the supremum of all these values, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. That is that. So that is the, the lower sum. Lower sum. Yeah. And the definition of Riemann integral is that the lower sum is equal to the upper sum. If the lower sum is okay. equal to upper sum, then you say that the, the function is Riemann integrable, right? I mean, this definition Makes might sense. sound slightly different from the definition you know, but it is the same. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because see, taking limit over all partitions doesn't make sense because a set of partitions don't form a sequence. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. 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 So right. it doesn't make yeah. sense. So this actually only makes sense. Okay. So yeah. So this is a lower sum. Okay. And this uh, this concept of lower sum and upper sum is useful. Okay. And this, okay. so because yeah, I understand you can pick any arbitrary part arbitrary point also and take the limit. You can consider all partitions and uh, then, yeah, but if you take arbitrary points, then what do you take, upper sum or, then it's not clear whether you should take supremum or infimum, right, in the end. So anyways, yeah. Right. So we'll take this lower sum definition. So why are we taking the lower sum here? Because we don't know if this thing is Riemann integrable or not. Okay. You see. I am not assuming yes. that every section is Riemann integrable. This is a section, right? It's like a cross section. So for every right. x, you get a function of y, and you don't know if this is Riemann integrable. Correct? Right. But the supremum will right. always exist. So this L will always exist. Right? 
Mm-hmm. So you see, so like, right. you just think about the single variable case. So what happens in the single variable case? The upper, the lower Riemann sum will always exist because it's the supremum of a set. Yes, yes, right, yeah. You see, if you look at the lower Riemann it. sum in single variable, it will always exist, and upper Riemann because sum will also always. Yeah, and upper Riemann sum will also always exist. Only that if they are equal, then we say it's Riemann integrable. But both so of them like all the supremum will be like equal to the infimum in a way. Yes, yes, yeah. Right. Supremum over all partitions of the infimums is equal to infimum over all partitions over the supremums. Supremum. Yeah. So in the end, it's simply that L is equal to U. So, anyways, this is right. how this will define, and then obviously analogously we will define U of X, and this is also a definition. And this will be just the upper sum of, of the other variable. Right. No, of the same, uh, same integral. We'll calculate the upper sum and lower sums. Okay, 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 yeah. Right. So these are single variable integrals. Okay. So that's just uh, single variables in, in that sense. Okay. Right. So why okay. are we doing this? You will see like this kind of breaking up is useful. So, right. So, in the end, what do you want to show? So the claim, the claim is, let it read. Claim is that this integral is equal to the integral of the lower sum. Okay, uh, of mm-hmm. course over dx, and this will. I mean, so maybe you could write B here if you want, but it's sort of understood. Mm. You could write B here and <clears throat> here you could write B. There. All right. This integral is equal to uh, this integral. The upper one. Yeah. And these are equal. Okay. Right. Let me just check if this is correct. I mean, it, 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 this is what it should be, but let's just check once again. Yes, that's correct. Right. Okay, so from here you get your Fubini's theorem. Why? Because I mean, under under at least one assumption, if you assume that every section is integrable, means for every okay. fixed x, if for every fixed x this function is integrable, right? Then what it means? Mm-hmm. It means that L x is equal to U x for all x. Right. Correct. Which means that yes. Uh, uh, so, yeah, which means, which means that integral eight, which means the integration with respect to dx of that thing will be also equal. Uh, uh, that, that means, yeah, but that will be anyways. But what it will okay, happen, yeah. yeah, what will happen is that if Lx is equal to dx, uh, sorry, if Lx US, is equal yeah. to if Lx is equal to ux, right? Then okay. what do you get? For all x, yeah, then you get that basically. Or for every for any x that it is equal, then it becomes basically this. Right, right. Then it's a Riemann sum. Then it's it's a Riemann integral. It is the Riemann integral. Yeah, with respect so, to y. With respect to y, and if it happens for every x, then basically here you can replace it by integral of b f x right. y, and you b. get the statement that you were looking for. Makes sense. Uh, I mean, yeah, sorry, right. yeah, and then integral over a, and this is what you were looking for, right? So right. this is sort of a generalized statement of that, okay? And this is a statement mm. which stands always, and under the good cases, uh, it becomes equality. Means it gives you, it's always equality, but it becomes just a double integral. Okay? At this point, it is also a double, in, also a double integral, but not of the same sort of function is changing. Mm. So, yeah, there are two functions, okay? All right. Now, now let us. This, this, this says something. I think slightly deeper, but we will get to it. For if first, it's just prove this result. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how to prove this? Right. Let's just uh, think. So, see the, mm-hmm. the there will be a certain approach here. Okay. So the approach will be that. Um. What we will do is we will fix a partition. Okay. okay. Fix fix a partition uh, or maybe fix partitions 
And you see this approach is quite nice and it shows why this upper sum, lower sum definition of Riemann integral is very nice. Yeah. Right. And all the definitions are equivalent, but uh, one of them is convenient in this situation and some other are convenient in some other situation, but yeah. So we don't, no, no, actually, we don't actually tell anything about uh, multivariable Riemanns. I mean, it's like we only define I mean, my no, uh, my, uh, let's say this like, is this is the def no. There how, is a definition of multivariable Riemann sum, right? This there is a definition what of is the this. definition that we use here, or we don't we don't particularly talk in definitions here. Like, no, which is the definition thing. that? No, so the definition of the this this you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the same thing, right? You take partition. You take partition, like and the, for every partition, okay. you take the infimum values in every part tag it with the partition and then you know something is it you know i was wondering if, if it is possible to write it down like is there a how do we how do i write down the definition like yeah you can write down the definition so the definition that you were saying to me initially it is that definition the single summation yes yes yeah exactly we will use Makes that sense, yeah. we will use that right, right? exactly single summation right, the only right. difference is that what you were saying is was slightly wrong because you cannot take limit over different partitions because the partitions don't form a sequence. Okay. So you have to take the single okay. summation, but you have to take minimums over every part, right? And take summations like over that, over different partitions, and then take the okay, supremum okay. and so on. Okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, basically then you fix partitions. Uh you fix uh partitions. Uh, maybe I will, uh, yeah, fix partitions P A and P B of A and B. Okay. And this, okay. this, what does it give you? It gives you a partition P A cross P B of A cross B. Now I should define what this means. So a PA is a partition, which just means that it's a sequence, right? It's an increasing sequence of points, right? Mm -hmm. And PB also. So PA cross PB, you just take all the pairs. I mean, just take the rectangles right. that you get. Okay. So this, this right. you can view this as a collection of in, uh, intervals, and this is a collection of intervals. And so the product will be the rectangles. Okay. Right. And that's how you will get a partition of A cross B. Okay. Mm. Okay. So you see, we are taking a specific partition of A cross B in that sense. Okay. Right. So okay. if, if P A is this partition and P B is this partition, then if you just take the grid form, right. You understand take the grid. Form, right. right. Yeah. That, that is A cross B. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And in A cross B, there is P A cross P B. A P A right. is a set. P A is a collection of intervals. P B is a collection of intervals. So P A cross P B is a collection of rectangles. Right, right, right. Okay, got it. So that's it. Okay. So right. now, yeah, now we will take this. Now we see. So, uh, right, right. So what you do is you just start with a summation. So just start with the summation over this partition. So how, what should be the notation? You just call it, I mean, I just call it F comma P, but let me see if they call it something. Uh, oh, no, yeah, you cannot just call take f comma p. You take l f comma p, right? So you take this f, you take this partition, and then you can form summation over this for of this function over this partition. Okay. Right? Yeah, and obviously this partition yeah. is p a cross p b, right? Makes so this sense. is a partition yeah. of a cross b, and this is the function. So you can form a summation for this partition, and like, but instead of taking arbitrary values, we will take infimums in every part. Okay. So this will mm. basically be the lower sum corresponding to this partition. Right. Okay. So what happens in yeah, the single right. infimum of that partitions? Huh, that you will do later, but first you take the lower. Right. Sum. Okay. Okay. But Makes see, sense. this is yeah. the lower sum of this, of this function with respect to this partition. This is not the same thing as this. Right. Okay, that's a different thing. That's a infimum over all partitions. Okay. Or, or rather, supremum over all the lower sums and so on. Okay, yeah. 
right right so what is this thing this thing is basically doing going to do is going to be a summation okay and okay. so let us say that the parts in pa let's call them sa or or, or maybe we should say one, one thing let me just check si is better probably but they just call it like that so yeah so but let me not call it like that let me call it si and let's call it uh but but it is different so i should not call it s maybe tj okay si cross okay. tj let let's so si was the intervals in pa and tj are the intervals in pb so these are the rectangles okay so for every rectangle mm -hmm. what you do is you take the infimum of the uh, uh, maybe i should write it so it's the you take the infimum of the function over this rectangle right and you multiply right. it with the volume of the rectangle rotation okay of the part right right volume mm -hmm. of the part this is the definition this is what you told me only you did not tell me the infimum okay right and right i'm taking the but it's Because for this a, fixed... is a left summation that's why we have infimum yeah you can call it left summation but it's a infimum right it's in every part you're taking right. the, for this part you're taking the smallest value of the function in that part roughly speaking okay right so this thing now we have to connect it with as i was saying we have to connect it with a uh, with with uh, with a double integral kind of right okay so what double integral are you going to connect it with we have to uh right so we have to get a partition of x we have to get a partition of a we have to get a partition of a uh or maybe i should say for every a you have to get a partition of b right so how do you do you you fix a si right fix a si and when you do that then you pull out this volume si outside right because right. this 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 thing is just equal to volume si times volume tj this is fine right yes sir yeah that is just the product uh, of rectangles formula oh, yeah. so that's so you pull that out and then you write here same thing f of Infimum x comma th y right infimum is taken over si tj and you write v of tj okay correct yeah good so you see what is happening you have fixed the uh, yeah sorry so i i i Wrote something slightly. I I missed uh, this thing. Now it will become a double summation, right? Summation T J. Right, because you have fixed the i, right? You have fixed the right, i. Right, right, right. So yeah. Let's let's just draw it here. So you have the i, right? And you have fixed this i, and for this i, you are ranging over. So this is your SI, okay? Makes uh, sense. Yeah. Yeah. This. So what is SI? To be very clear, SI is just this interval. Right, okay. Right. SI is just this interval. Okay. And mm -hmm. right. Yeah. SI. SI is just this interval, and then you have fixed that. Mm, right. And then this TJ is basically giving you a partition of this thing. right partition of this thing yes. okay so we want to we want to connect this with this thing so what is the way to do mm -hmm. that so now you notice that if you take any rectangle si cross tj so suppose this is si cross tj okay okay this rectangle okay. then this infimum mm -hmm. is going to be less than, and this is the main key this infimum is going to be less than the infimum of the function uh, of the function uh fx y where y is in tj where y is in tj right because you were because here you are taking the infimum over the whole rectangle over this okay. rectangle and now this okay. one you are taking the infimum where you are taking the infimum only in oh, this no. line oh. only in a particular yeah. strip right right in in some particular strip right 
with a fixed x coordinate okay with a fixed x okay. coordinate okay and what mm -hmm. is that uh, i mean if you ask what is that fixed x coordinate i mean you can fix any x coordinate and take it it doesn't matter right, right. It, it will be yeah because for any given section its infimum is bigger than the infimum over the whole rectangle right so right, right. yeah so you do that and that now we will get into so okay. basically, yeah, basically then this becomes a less than or equal to. Mm -hmm. And if here we will replace this by this thing, infimum over this. Okay. This will become infimum over uh, of fxy, where y is in T tj. Tj, right. yeah. Right. And x, yeah, let me just think about the x. It's true for any given x, but in our case, uh, what is the x? Yeah, it is true for any x. So let us just write it like that. And then if you look at now this, now if you write, write this, then this, this thing and wait. Mm, yeah right so now if you consider this summation yeah this summation will be okay. less than this summation will be less than lx because lx was the supremum mm -hmm. so over the, so all the, lower anything sums that, anything, anything has to be less than that yes right yeah it's supremum over all the lower sum that is what this l means right right that is what this mm -hmm. l means correct so uh right okay so this we got so essentially you consider a sequence of partitions uh in a way like uh how do i put this like wait wait yeah wait so wait, wait so so let's let's just yeah we, we need to just get to this ux right we need to get right. to the ux yeah so so far we have a got till here now now let us see so this is equal to this Right, so this L, this lower sum is less than this. Uh, now, wait. Mm. One minute. So I want to, yeah, I want to take the integral of that, right? Yeah, I want to take the integral of that. I want to take, consider the integral of this, correct? So, it. So I'm taking, I'm taking LX, which is a, yeah, this is just a, some notation problem that I'm creating. Hmm. So I want to say, and let us see how I will prove this. I want to say now that this is less than the lower sum of this function LX. Right. But then I think I, I made an assumption here that this LX is integrable. Okay. And I think maybe, maybe it will mm -hmm. also be true. Maybe it will also be true. Okay. Yeah. So let us see. So I want to say that this is less than the lower sum of uh, L of the function L for the partition A. Okay. So mm -hmm. I want to I want to claim that so because L is now a function of x, and uh, we have a certain partition A is a partition, and this S J is running over that part. Uh, si, si is running over that partition. So why is this less than the lower sum? Uh, that is because, uh, yeah, that is because there is an extra bit of information. Mm. Wait. Right, yeah. So basically here, here actually, here actually I should yeah, I'm writing LX, but then 
I can write here uh, L of S L of uh, L of I can write yeah I, I I can write that this is I can replace this by the infimum of L of X where X is in SI. Yeah, this, this infimum, I mean, yeah, the infimum that you had over the rectangle, that will be less than both the infimums because both the infimums are taken over smaller strips. This infimum and this infimum is taken over a smaller, it's just taken over strips and this was taken over rectangles, right? So I can say this, okay. So right. this is the thing, right. And now you see mostly we are done. Now if you take stock of what you have done so far, then it will be done. So. Mm -hmm. Now you just see this. See, so we had this over some partition. Okay, so this is PA cross PP. Okay, we proved that this is less than L of this. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So this is we proved this, but then I mean you can just uh, continue continue like this. Obviously, if you replace L by U, then this will be true. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, just uh, same thing. things. Yeah. If you just do. Mm. Okay. So this will be true. And then, then I suppose that if you just replace L by U, instead, if you take upper sums, right, then also this right. will be true. Right. And just mm. like we proved that the low, just like we proved this thing, right. Because upper right. sum is always bigger than lower sum. Right. But just right, like, right, we, right. Just like we proved this thing, this thing will actually be less than this or less than the upper sum of F over the total partition. Right. It will just be the, because just be the opposite of this argument to prove this last one. Just see, right. Because I mean, because again, if you take the supremum over this, yeah, one is one. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And the supremum over the cross section will actually become bigger. Uh, sorry, right. actually become smaller, actually become small. Right. And this will be taking supremum over Think the cross the other... sections. Right, right, yeah. Right, so supremum, supremum over a smaller set is bigger. That's why it will be the situation will be opposite to the situation of the lower sums. Okay, so basically this will be the case. Okay, right. now you see the game is done because now we know that this thing is equal to this thing because F is Riemann integrable. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, That's the, the yeah, exactly. And now, so it means all the things are equal. Okay. And that means this is true. Just see, oh, right? It means that me this is equal to this. This is equal to this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. The meeting lower, is going to okay. end, but you just look at it. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Yeah, I I think I get get the sense of it. Uh, yeah, I I'll just send you this last piece over email. This last whiteboard. Okay. Right. You can have a look. That actually proves everything. And the reference for this is Spivak integration chapter, Pobini's theorem. Spivak calculus on man Spivak's book, calculus Michael on manifolds. Yeah, calculus on manifolds. Uh, okay, that's that's the book on manifolds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.